Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Today we're going to be trying out some decks in the Timeless format. The new Modern Horizon 3 set dropped, so we're going to try out a Boros Energy Burn deck. I covered a couple decks that were like early on doing well. There's two different variants of Boros, one a Luris version, one not. Um, I tried a couple like from the stock list, and I've made some changes based on personal preference. Um, but the core of the deck, we got a lot of new cards. Guide of Souls. 1-2 Soul Warden effect, gains you a life when a creature comes to play and gets you an energy. You can pay 3 energy when, uh, whenever you attack and you get to put a counter, 2 counters on a creature and make it a flying angel. Originally the deck had 3 Ocelot prides in it, but turns out just getting picked off by Fury and Bowmasters and everything makes it a little rough in this format. I think this card would be much better in Historic, but as a 1 of, it triggers off Guide of Souls, it plays nicely with a Johnny as well. Uh, we have an energy package. Static Prison is just a one mana kind of removal with a cumulative upkeep of paying an energy. We have Galvanic Discharge where we can kind of pay any, we get three energy and then you just pay X energy to deal X damage. Uh, I'm playing Bolts in here as well. I tried out some Furies, but you tend to not, like you're not playing Reanimate, so it's not as good. Uh, you, you end up just two for one in yourself at times. Regavan's in here. Um, then we have a Johnny Nakato Pariah. Comes in, gives you two bodies, a uh, 1 2 and a 2 1. And then whenever one or more cats you control die, uh, you exile a Johnny, transform it. Then you get to either put counters on each creature, each cat you control. You make a cat, uh, cat and then uh, deals damage to a number of creatures if you control another red permanent. And then the ultimate, after basically a one uptick, each opponent chooses an artifact creature and enchantment and planeswalkers from un among non land permanents and sacrifices the rest. Uh, we have Felia, Exuberant Shepherd, Flash. Uh, when it attacks, you get to blink, so reset all our enter the battlefield stuff, or like your opponent's tokens, stuff of that nature. Gets counters, pretty flexible. Armed Raptor uh, enters the battlefield, gets two energy. Then if you cast it, you basically cascade and you can pay energy to cast the stuff that you do. Unstable Amulet. Comes into play two energy. Uh, whenever you cast something from exile, you get to ping your opponent. And then you can pay two energy, exile top card of your library, and until you exile another card with unstable amulet, you can cast it from exile. So you have kind of a card advantage engine with it. Full set of fables, and then we're playing Phage Titan of Fire's Fury. So we had two of these originally, went up to a third. It's really good against Scam, at least in the matchups I played. Played two games against Scam. Uh, the bombardment version picked me apart. Uh, the more stock version, I ate them apart, so I uh, don't know what to make of it yet, but we'll see. Um, Mana Ace, we just got a special land in Arena of Glory. Uh, we can exert the land and give a creature haste, or up to two creatures haste if we want to pay the mana that way, which is kind of nice, especially with the Phage, uh, since it like Lightning Helixes on ETB and when you attack. Uh, outside of that, some Aether Hubs just to make some more energy, and then just six red fetches. You can play whatever fetches you want, they just got to be red. But in particular, the Arid Mesa plays nicely because we can get the planes if we want to fetch around Blood Moon. Uh, the sideboard, we have Source Plowshare for just more removal, Roiling Vortex versus Control matchups, now notably, or like Show and Tell versus Control and stuff. You, or sorry, if you're bringing in those, keep in mind that Ant Raptor, you cast something for zero mana, so you'll take damage from it if you play Roiling Vortex. Disruptor Flute's just a new version of kind of Pithing Needle. Uh, you can spell the chosen name uh, three more to cast as well, uh, which is kind of nice because you can just name like Show and Tell. You know, I'm actually going to try... I might try like one... Let's see how the games go. If we run into a lot of Show and Tell, I tried some Best of One decks and it was just all Show and Tell still, which is just a miserable experience. Um, a License Hurst for Graveyard Hate. The card I'm trying against Scam that's been working pretty well. Originally I had White Leyline, but then Fury just killed your board. Um, so it doesn't really do much. Leyline, when they target you with anything, they just take two damage. They're taking damage from like their lands, from the reanimates, everything like that. So Leyline was pretty clutch there. And then Showdown of the Scalds as my card advantage engine. Um, so we'll give it a couple goes, see how it is. Um, I'm just going to play through win or loss. I really just want to see what the format's like, kind of form a perspective and just see if this deck's got legs like we might play it to the end and then realize it's not the greatest but we'll have a wrap up at the end and you can kind of take a, a look in the field to see what you think but it's day one it's time to try stuff out and hopefully not just run into everything but scam a bit unfortunate i was trying to play get like a 
10 rare budget mono red burn deck going, but the power level of the format's pretty dis like despairing. We are just getting picked apart, like left, right, center. And then uh, it was a little too hard to kind of get things going. But play first, they're on Luris. Probably keep this. We got our Amped Raptor. I'm going to put a static Galvanic Discharge probably back. Okay. The Arid. We can fetch for a Sacred Foundry if needed. If they go Deathrite Shaman, then I can just Galvanic Discharge it. Kind of annoying. Takes our gas. So the last time I played Historic, it was all these stupid Demir control decks, and it kind of took me off the format. I just wasn't having fun. I'm hoping that this kind of shakes it up a bit, um, just to see, like, hopefully something a little bit different. So against control, this should be pretty good. Um, but if we're running into, like, just a lot of the same nonsense, might put me back to Historic. Mana Drain. Yeah, so it's basically Grixis Falky. Which is just a very annoying deck to play. So Luris to hand. Fortunately, we've just gotten nothing this game. So part of the reason I wasn't like thrilled with this card, they're just gonna have Valky or they're gonna have Jace. The next game. We just had one, two, three, four combo in hand. It's kind of annoying. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in all this. Uh, I think I'm going to take out the showdowns. It's going to be a little too slow. I'm going to get rid of the static. Get those out. Johnny's fine. Since they're on Bowmaster, I'm probably going to trim a couple Fables. They're probably the slowest. And just run it like that. Just want to be aggressive, low to the ground. Basically, they're going to cast Valky next turn and pick apart my hand. Our hand... I was hoping that they were a little bit more creature focused Luris deck. It's hard to tell like off the bat what they are just based on kind of their opening hands. We'll keep. So the ley line's nice because it'll just ping them for a whole bunch. So any effect is just gonna take damage here. I think we're gonna lead a Johnny here. It gives me two bodies. Um we'll attack like this. We'll go Amped Raptor here, see what they want to do if they want to counter this. Maybe should have led on Oscillates. Right. Always have the Mana Drain. Without fail, 100% of the time. Probably should have attacked with a Johnny. do here so they could put Luris to hand they can't quite dig through time they drown in the lock So 
the nice thing is at least we're pinging them for each of these instances. I can do Guide of Souls. I think we're just going to prioritize getting this in. So I'm doing this because this way I can attack. If they want to block, they have to trade a Bowmaster. Which I think is fine. So if we draw land, they're just going to have Valky naturally again. At least they didn't have it this time. We get some solace in that. Play this out. I'm just going to go face here. I think the way we got to kind of do this is just try to burn them out. They're eventually going to find the combo, so we just got to try to... It's like they're going to dig here. A little awkward, we just haven't found another... I might. Okay, so they didn't keep up second blue, which is good. Now they have it. They'll put dig back on top. I do want to kind of keep the extra. We're just pointing face here. They can lure us and plot lure us. That gets him back, Bowmaster. Fortunately, this only adds me one mana. I just want to get him into like intervals here where like the one damage could potentially be enough. So what we'll do next turn, I'll do this. I do you want to try to get Flage? Late, lage down. They'll likely find something here. Put them to six. We're getting there. We got a, quite a few different card advantage engines. Honestly, even just trying to jam another. They found Valky. Ryan, these are so bad. So I think we might want to take these out in this matchup. They just don't do enough. It's going to dig and kind of grind us out. The thing with Valky is each player, so it's not target. But we might just be able to kill Valky. Problem is, like, they're going to have a lot of card advantage and, like, counters and stuff. And they're unlikely to tap out at this point. Valky alts. I'm going to do this for two. I'm 
going to get a white source here. I fully expect them to have counters, but... See what they got. The unfortunate thing, I actually probably shouldn't have fetched, but they're just gonna have like constant mana drain against me now. That gets them enough to put Luris in hand, which is also frustrating. They could also just dig. Usually the line they'll plot Jace. Or the... And this is again where I was at with like timeless. They just got like every freaking counter. So one thing you we gotta kinda keep in mind, depending on where the meta is, like those hands are gonna be pretty bad with more removal. I just don't think we could do much when it's just counterspell, counterspell, counterspell. The format devolves into that Demir deck for Scam, for Show and Tell. Starks, definitely. Going to be more our speed. Oh, looks like our deck's just deciding... We're not going to draw lands today. Is this the mirror again? I think I'm just going to concede if it's the mirror deck again. I really don't want to play against this. Yay! Fun! Woo! It's going to be Mana Drain. Show me the drain. Okay, so they don't have it. It's going to be Fatal Push. And then it's going to be Bowmaster. They did keep on top, so... Might have missed a land drop. I mean, they already have 14. This could be Shadow, though, so... If it is Shadow, we might see them... Just pass the turn here. Play Ophelia on their turn. Try to bait out. Crown in the lock. All right, Johnny again. I would have to imagine their shadow. It's a bit annoying because it's going to give him like Luris to hand. What a fun game, folks. I don't know. There's, there's cool stuff you can do in this, but I think just like there's certain cards that are just pushed a little bit too much. We see Luris, Bobble, cast Bobble, get Bobble back. So they're just getting free value even off the of Luris this turn. And it's going to be Spell Pierce Watch.
Oh, it's not Spell Pierce. Okay. So they're dead to land, which plays really nice. I assume this is just a straight... Con like, con it's the same deck, actually. I'm thinking it's Shadow, maybe. So it looks like they got Dig Through Time here. Treasure Cruise. Maybe not. It could still be Shadow. Usually, um, I'll play Dig Through the Luris, uh, like the Demir Control. Bowmasters come down. They're actually dead to this as well now. Um... I'm gonna do this, just see if they they fetch for something. Could have given them the Luris back. So they have spell pierce. have it i mean we won but at what cost vortex ley lines showdowns play disruptor flute um i'm just gonna get rid of all this all of that and probably want the fables like i know this is a little bit of a non-bow but it It'll deal more damage to them than it will to us. Um, I mean, they have to answer Regavan. Probably on the play, we'll get rid of a Fable. I just want to play cool stuff. Like when we had, like, you know. Creature deck, like even the shadow deck or stuff like that, the storm deck, you could attack it on different angles. You're just fine playing against this Demir deck. It's just, it's not fun win or lose. Like that game was just throw stuff at the wall, see if it works. We might have to go back up the land. Originally, the deck had 22. Felt it was a little clunky at 22. Like we were flooding out too often. Might have to go back up to that. I had cut a land for a fable. Okay, we'll keep. Um... I think we're going to keep this. They go bobble. I think what we're probably going to have to do is Disruptor Flutes try to bait. Like they have Brainstorm or Spell Pierce up potentially. Could be Bolt. A good draw, like lets us play something on curve here. If they they're likely gonna hold up mana here, I don't want to. Okay, so they just go bolt here. I'm gonna save my life here. We could get Vortex going. Or I can do Monument. I think we're just gonna stick the Vortex. They could have Spell Pierce.
Okay, so they had it anyways. So we'll probably Disruptor Flute on their upkeep. They do here. We'll name Jace Reawakened here. At least this shuts off the Jace part of the combo. I'm going to try to bait with Monument here, and then I can exert the Arena. Oh no, I can't. Oops. I'm gonna just try to stick this show down this turn. We can get Bobble back. I mean, if they're gonna have it, they're gonna have it. I gotta save Phage for. Oh my god, this deck. So much fun to be had. That basically makes Luris discounted. Hopefully their hands like Jace's that they can't do anything with. I'm going to try to bait with this. Okay, so this resolves, which is nice. Fatal push is fine. Notably just killing Luris here. And then next turn I can escape it back. Surgical Extraction, okay. So we're in a top deck war. They do have a lot more card advantage than we do. I guess I should have exerted, I could have given it haste, but... Now we're just kind of... flooding them. We might want another card advantage engine. I'm going to do this. We'll flip a Johnny. Deal five. Lethal. Nice and easy. Okay, that one felt better. Definitely felt better. I think we learned kind of just this sideboard approach there, just not playing um, all the extra just temporary, like not even temporary, but just like situational. We need everything to go face. Having the ley lines is important, I think. Phage is nice, just forcing through. All right, we play first. I want to thin out my deck here, I think.
Guide me some souls. So it could be blue white control. But that's usually Kahira. Could be Zoo. Plays nicely as well. Nope, it's just going to be show and tell. Oh, beans. Beans. Okay, maybe not. Maybe something new. If subtlety. So no ephemerate, at least, which is nice. I'm going to get rid of beans to try to slow them down a bit. Trying a hell of a lot of lands, though. And then Fury just wrecks us here. I'm going to go with the big cat here because they're going to be incentivized to kill it. They will get beans back next turn. Didn't draw. Didn't draw anything. Can I try something? No! Damn it. Okay, so what we tried to do there was kill it to get the value. Deck's just gonna be like super duper value. We're probably dead at this point. All right, let's just go to the next game. Because they're getting beans back, and then. So I took a chance there. Probably was a little risky. So I think we're doing the same. Now, they do have Oko, so I think we get rid of the static. I think we get rid of Fable. Probably get rid of a couple Galvanic. This matchup, I like Ragavan more. That just makes multiple bodies. I do it like that. I think we need to revisit, like, with this build of the deck. I don't think Fable's where we want to be. I think we want to be on Season Pyromancer. While it plays us a little bit more into Bowmaster. I'm going to fetch to make it seem like we're playing for Blood Moon. I'm going to attack in here first and just start raptoring here. They're probably going to have Supreme Verdict. Are you kidding me? We literally have one of these. Just bank the energy for Unstable.
gotta love when you draw like the one of. I think we're gonna try to force this. We showed a lot of creatures last game, so I'm hoping that they don't have counters here. Doorkeeper Thrall. Okay, well, if we draw the land, that happens to be very good. going to do this. I want them to subtle. Okay, they go swords here. So Ocelot's Pride comes. And we'll play Regavan. I want to force them into Verdict if they have it. So they do have Verdict Mana. Ah, so they're just doing the Uro Door Keeper Thrill. And I just... Okay, we gotta play another line. This is kind of... How do you draw four Amped Raptors and not a third line? So... That deck's very greedy, and we weren't able to punish. Um, I think we just do the surveil. Kind of annoying with the first one. If we if we present another thread, if we get lightning bolt or something. I wonder if they're like mainboarding Thrall. Because like it's... I guess it does shut off the scam stuff too. Hopefully not another Lurus pile. At least that other deck was something new. Opponent goes first. Let's get ready to get scammed. Wow, such fun. Woo, you discarded reanimate, meaning you have a reanimate. Their opener was two reanimates in that they take apart my hand. Hopefully they don't have too much gas left. What a hand. I think that's fine.
I'm going to do this. Now, this does play us into like the fatal push, but. Need to, anyways. So, by playing the Aether Hub, we get the extra energy. Pretty good. So they Ragavan here. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Just have it all. Have it all. Oh my god, they hit my phage too. So we got Bolt and that. So we're going to do, do this because they cheat in Ragavan. Mountain here. I'm going to bolt here. And I'm going to do this here. What we're going to do is then, because this way we get don't have to pay as much energy. We just have to pay the one. Layout guide, we ping them for one here. Now, the downside with this does open us up if they have fatal push. Okay, they have lightning bolt, but that's fine. So now we can do this phage, it deals an extra point of damage. And then next turn, depending what we get, I have Guider of Souls and Phage, and then we could just explode. Ex so we use the energy here, but because we cast it from anywhere, um, one. To... I don't know what they might have, but this pings them for one, then we deal the three. So Phage is actually pretty solid in this matchup. Just because it kills all their scam threats. Can't reanimate. They can get the land. The land will work for them. And in the first one's big. Um, so I usually bring in Unlicensed Hearse. Ley Lines, Showdown. Uh, I take out Ocelot Pride. I take out Bregavans. Take out a couple Statics. Take out a couple Fables. 
I'm just going to cut all the static prison. So they're on troll as well. So given that they have troll, I want the full set here. I think on the play, I'm just going to cut all the fables. Probably one unstable amulet. Try to just win through phage, have the ley lines. I guess the ley lines. The failure is a little. A little annoying in this matchup because like it doesn't attack right into stuff. I don't want to blink, but I could reset their bowmaster tokens. I think this just having Let's trim one of those. Like a Johnny's a two for one. Like we might still want the fables, but I find the fables gonna be like if we fable into bowmaster, it's gonna be bad. That's why I'm thinking like season power. I, I want pure card advantage, not card selection. I think I'm going to keep this. We have a couple turns to try to draw. Good one. Because if they go Ragavan here, I just discharge it. If they don't, and then I go Surveil Land. I think I want to try to find another land or phage. That's mountain. I'm gonna get this down now. The way we lose this game is to like some random reanimate effect. And then they're probably just playing Bowmaster this turn. They don't. Okay, so they're playing a real slow. So their hand might just be like Furies. Fable. Start eating away at their library. No! That's so annoying. They're just getting rid of reanimate. They got rid of another fable, which is also nice. Yuri's five mana. They might have brought in Blood Moon. Let them grief fear.
It's an interesting question if I let them attack, because it could just be Bolt. I think just having Grief and Fable, I have to let it pass. Hey, Swords is nice. I'll have enough mana to cast everything in my deck. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. I think I'm going to do this. Just because if they have Fury, it's harder for them to play around, and it just gets more damage in right now. We have Fury. Crew here. See what they want to do here. I'm gonna take the fable out. I kind of don't want a swords. That's just more damage coming in. So we do have the block here. Get rid of this. A two. Kind of annoying there because we're going to take a hit here. Need some sort of advantage engine. Tap the Fury here, like, towards the Fury. Not great because we get it's basically two more effects that they can have. Age would be nice. Line's not great. The Regavan's gonna hit my phage watch. Even just the life blinker is good. Problems their hands like literally probably all furies and stuff. And like incidentally enough, this prevents me from attacking in. I was missing like that, but the deck decided that it wasn't going to give us a chance. Um, do you think we want the fables? They have Bolt. Like, do I want swords or do I just want a Ragavan? Run it like that. Three hearse might be too many, but 
what scam is going to do to you. Just eat away at your hand over and over. Okay, we haven't had a single time where we've been able to keep a full hand. Incredibly frustrating. Just scammed. I think we're just going to get rid of death right here. The way our hand's shaping up is not great because, like, we're just, we're no pressure. It's very hard to compete with these black decks. Like, Phage is definitely the best card for us in this matchup. Looks like we're getting scammed. Roll goes away. Our hands literal nothing. Part of the downside with the showdown because it costs so much. And likely Bowmaster, they have a pause. That's like three. The question is like, do I do it now or just wait till next turn of Bowmaster? I think we just wait till next turn. I'm assuming they have Boatmaster. Oh, they just troll. Because the problem is, I don't know if they brought in something like Surgical. So the fetch line's nice. it'll put another spell into the yard or another permanent and then i could surveil as well and i do have the energy here they are playing not dead after all Elegant Parlor here. I'm going to keep the other Phage in hand. Oh no, we don't have enough. No! Oh my god. That was dumb. That was dumb. I forgot. I had to mill it because we had to put the fifth card in the, the yard. That was a little dumb on my part. Was a bit dumb. I mean, they have surgical. Hey, we got a lightning bolt too.
So they have Fatal Push. It works pretty nice for them. I guess I can this turn just go face. Not let them spend their mana. Because if they had Fatal Push, they would have done it on the Reflections or Not Dead after all. Play Molten Collapse here. I think we might just wait and save the energy. Just two damage. Flooding pretty hard here. This is where it's going to get frustrating. So we milled over a ley line already. We do have the fables, so maybe I should have held the land. Amped Raptor, a Johnny. Like we have so many spells in our deck. So I think this turn I am going to Lightning Bolt it. I just want to see what they play out. Oh my god. All right, the spell. They kill it, gets me closer to escaping. What if their hand's just fury? Their hand's probably just like loaded with furies. That's not bad. So this might force them to tap out for another Fury. I could put two cards in the yard and escape Lage. I might be priced regardless. So been that I play a Johnny. They kill my Johnny. I phage. I can phage with haste. So we'll do this. Do this. We'll exert here. Tape this back. Let's see Bowmaster here. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one to the face because if I hit the Fury, it could enable uh, Fatal Push. And now I'll kill the Fury. Yeah. 
We called it. So this could be another Fury. But we just got to keep trying to fill our yard. Do you just have reanimate for Fury? God. Why are you doing this to me, deck? Just drawn like nothing but lands. We have so much gas in the deck. Like so many cards that do things, and then meanwhile, land. Like we just needed something we could put into our yard. Not it's not even a fetch line that we can kind of fetch away to give us some value there. And they have grief, so we're probably gonna have to block here just to save some life. Probably should have played this just in case we drew Showdown. It's just one more spell I could play. Show me not dead after all. So we're dead like four different ways. Like last turn, that would have been good to have. We're just dead. So all in all with the deck, like... It's a novel idea. But I feel like we're competing with, like the fables just don't do enough. We're getting beat down by these, like, these black base decks too much. The ley lines probably aren't it. We need a more sustained card advantage engine. Like Phage is good. I could see more Phage. Like, the problem is like all our creatures get hit by Bowmaster and Fury, which hurts us more than like it hurts them. We can try like an ephemerate version of the deck. That might be something worth trying out um, to see kind of in that avenue. But let me know what you think. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.